This, this is Saurabh, and, and you're listening to my favorite talk show, The BG Show with Aditya. Let's start tonight's episode with a song, a song which everyone has heard and it has been played multiple times in your school assemblies and from which an Indian song has also been taken. If you miss the train I am on, you will know that I am gone, you can hear the whistle blow. A hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles. You can hear the whistle blow. A hundred miles. Lord, I am one. Lord, I am two. Lord, I am three. Lord, I am four. Lord, I am five hundred miles from my home. 500 miles, 500 miles, 500 miles, 500 miles. Lord, I am 500 miles from my home. Not a shirt on my back, not a penny to my name. Lord, I can't go home this way, this way, this way. This way, this way, Lord, I can't go home. This way, if you miss the train I'm on, you will know that I am gone. You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. One phrase that has become part of the human lingo over the past five to six years, especially since pseudo media started making an impact on our lives, is the modern day something. We just love using this term. Human beings, in fact, love using oxymorons like modern day era modern day lifestyle, modern day sports. Then we shift on to artificial intelligence and then further moving on social media. Of course, the biggest term of all smartphones. So modern day lifestyle, modern day sports, smartphones, social media, artificial intelligence are some of the oxymorons that humans love using even without understanding that these two terms don't exist if you are intelligent then you can't be artificial or if you are artificial you can't be intelligent and do we even know what the term smart means before we start using the term smartphones and of course the most Love one of all, social media. Wow, what a term that has come up over the past few years. In fact, ever since social media started influencing us, terms such as social media influencers seeped into our lingo. It has also become part of the more organized system of media that is the print and electronic media. And it has gone to such an extent that the print and electronic media cannot live without mentioning one or the other incident on these social media or as I like to call it pseudo media platforms. We often say that human beings are thinking creatures but according to me when they use such oxymorons, social media, smartphone, artificial intelligence, the cognitive part of their brain is at rest or they are not using that cognitive part of the brain. The same way when we watch an Indian movie, we leave the cognitive part of our brain behind. Now let's juxtapose all these terms together. Social media, artificial intelligence, smartphones, modern day something something into one term modern day. But what do we mean by the term modern 
day How do we exactly associate modern day what defines modern day is modern day associated with the fact that we have started using all kinds of electronic and virtual devices such an extent that we have divided the world into vintage and modern so the landline phone is now in that vintage category so is your typewriter isn't modernism not only a misnomer along with being an oxymoron if we have to use the term modern isn't the term modern relative why are we limiting the term modern only when we are using electronic and virtual devices is this strange habit of associating a term retro to the 70s and the 80s why it still baffles me because for the individuals who were living in the 70s and the 80s or let's say who were relatively younger in the 70s and the 80s for them whatever technology was available at that time that was modern itself maybe there was no internet no pseudo media no artificial intelligence but there was telegram typewriter television the landline phone along with vcrs which we now consider in that antique category and of course right now there is this sudden craze to use virtual devices not to use any kind of paper based mechanism to communicate means writing on diaries buying diaries means you are contributing to climate change why because we have to cut trees and suddenly environmental activists have woken up from a deep sleep just like a volcano wakes up when it explodes in that context let's consider these lines covid 19 or the charade virus has taken the country off guard and is still impacting the economy probably 6 months ago i would have said yes it has taken the country off guard but now saying again and again that the lockdown took us off guard lockdown disturbed our daily routine it made us change things well now don't even take this seriously the reason we love the early 90s the 80s and the 70s is because from the context of the television the 70s and 80s there was television of course there weren't 300 channels there were a limited number of channels probably the news channel and a movie channel the thing which gets us nostalgic is it was in standard definition which means the black and white there weren't multiple camera angles through which one could watch a sports match there were only one or two camera angles then there is the fact that they presume that those 70s 80s and 90s were much simpler eras because humans supposedly weren't as avaricious as they are right now so we start using the term modern day lifestyle what does the term modern day lifestyle mean it means that people don't talk to people they are busy in their work and we invent another term lifestyle diseases which is linked with the food you eat the nutrition the presumption that since there weren't too many junk food joints all those years ago nowadays human consume lot of junk food if we still have to use the term modern let me tell you the term modern is dynamic in nature which means that 1920 was modern for the individuals living in 1920 and 2020 is modern for the individuals living in 2020 we cannot say that 1920 is ancient or antique and 2020 is modern because of the influence of technology whether it's in education aviation retail or any other sector so the idea is not to use the term modern unless we understand what this term means we should stop dividing things into terms like retro vintage ancient modern unless we fully grasp the meaning of this 
term which is dynamic in nature yet it is relative to a certain period Homer's Iliad a dark glance and the headstrong runner answered him in kind shameless armor in shamelessness always shrewd with greed how could any argive soldier obey your orders freely and gladly do your sailing for you or fight your enemies full force not i know it wasn't trojan spearmen who brought me here to fight the trojans never did me damage not in the least they never stole my cattle or my horses never in pithia where the rich soil breeds strong men did they lay waste my crops how could they look at the endless miles that lie between us adobe mountain ranges seas that surge and thunder no you colossal shameless we all followed you please you to fight for you to win your honor back from the trojans melanos and you you dog face what do you care nothing you don't look right or left and now you threaten to strip me of my prize in person and the one i fought for long and hard and sons of achaea handed her to me honors never equal yours whenever we sack some wealthy trojan stronghold my arms bear the brunt of the raw savage fighting true but when it comes to dividing up the plunder the lion's share is yours and back i go to my ships clutching some scrap some pittance that i love when i have fought to exhaustion no more now back i go to pithia better that way by far to journey home in the big ships of war i have no mind to linger here disgraced brimming your cup and piling a pure plunder tis elet the waste land my nerves are bad tonight yes bad stay with me speak to me why do you never speak speak what are you thinking of what thinking what i never know what you are thinking think i think we are in rats alley where the dead men lost their bones what is that noise the wind under the door what is that noise now what is that wind doing nothing again nothing do you know nothing do you see nothing do you remember nothing i remember those are pearls that were his eyes are you alive or not is there nothing in your head but o that shakespearean rag it's so elegant so intelligent what shall i do now what shall i do i shall rush out as i am and walk the street with my hair down so what shall we do tomorrow what shall we ever do the hot water at 10 and if it rains a closed car at 4 and we shall play a game of chess pressing lidless eyes and waiting for a knock upon the door when lil's husband got demobbed i said i didn't mince my words i said to her myself hurry up please it's time now albert's coming back make yourself a bit smart he'll want to know what you done with that money he gave you to get yourself some teeth 
he died i was there you have them all out lil and get a nice set he said i swear i can't bear to look at you and no more can't i i said and think of poor albert he's been in the army for years he wants a good time and if you don't give it to him there's others will i said oh is there she said something of that i said and i know who to thank she said and gave me a straight look tg wood house tip upper lip jeeves i'll tell you what i said if you just give me 5 pounds i broke off he was looking at me with a cold glassy stare as no doubt he had looked at the late lions leopards and noos whose remains were to be viewed on the walls of the outer hall fellows at the drones who have tried to touch ufi crosser the club millionaire for a trifle to see them through till next wednesday they have described him to me as looking just like that oh so that's it he said and even pop abase could not have spoken more nastily i have got your number now i have met your sort all over the world you won't get any 5 pounds my man you sit where you are and don't move i'm going to call the police it won't be necessary sir said a respectful voice as jeeves entered through the french window his advent drew from me a startled goggle and i rather think a cry of amazement last man i had expected to see and how he had got here defeated me i have sometimes felt that he must dematerialize himself like those fellows in india fakirs i think they are called who fade into thin air in bombay and turn up five minutes later in calcutta or points west with all the parts we assembled how could i see how he had divined that the young master was in sore straits and in urgent need of his assistance unless it was all done by what i believe is termed telepathy still here he was with his head bulging at the back and on his face that look of quiet intelligence which comes from eating lots of fish and i welcome his presence i knew from experience what a wizard he was at removing the oppressed from the soup and the soup was what i was at this point in my affairs deeply immersed in for more awesome content tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with aditya